Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on how to play I'm Still Here from Treasure Planet. I love that movie! I'm going to show you how I played in my version, so if you haven't seen that, please check out the link right here. So first things first, we're going to be using a capo for this tutorial. Don't listen to the jerks who say, oh, you're not a real guitarist if you use a capo. No, it's wrong. A good guitarist knows when to use a capo to get the sound he desires. So for the original key, you would want to put it on the second fret if you want to play along with the original song. But for my tutorial, I'm going to put it up on the fourth fret because that's how it's played in my version. Alright, so the chords you're going to need for this song are G with the ring finger on the uh, B string, third fret, extra finger right there. C add 9, E minor 7, a suspended and D. All right, I think that's pretty much it. So we're gonna start with that uh, iconic plucking pattern. Okay. So that's just gonna be back and forth between a G and a C. You're gonna start on the bottom string, the E string. Then you're gonna skip the A and go to the D and go up again to the G, and up to the B string. Then you're going to go back down to the G and the D string. So then you got... Alright, then once you do that, you're going to go up to the C. All you're going to do is switch these two fingers. These ones stay the same, here to here. And you're going to hit the four middle strings. And then back down. down. Do that a couple times, and then you're going to switch to the A suspended and hit the four middle strings again. And then go back to the C. So all in all you get... Between verses, there's that little ditty where I like to go. It's just G and C. So that's just down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up. You're doing fantastic. So after the verse, it's going to be this thing right before the chorus when you go into it that you'll be doing a lot where you're going to go. So after the C, you're going to hit an E minor 7, then a D, then the C add 9, right? So you're going to be going... So you're going to go from... So basically what you're doing is you're going from the C and you're hitting that third fret there on the A string and then you're going to go down one fret. And then you're going to hit the E string here with the G chord basically. So basically you're going from the C down to the G. Alright, so those are the main three notes you're hitting but you can strum while you're doing that. Right, so you're gonna go from... Lead in. Straight into the chorus. Woo! All in all, it looks like this. And how can you learn what's never shown? Yeah, you stand here on your own. They don't know me. So for the chorus, it's just going to be G, C, G, C, G, C, and then you're going to do the E minor 7, then the D, then the C add 9, alright? And then you're going to do all that twice. So it's going to be...
right, so at the end of that, you're gonna do that little thing right before you go back into the verse. So at the end, you're gonna go. Drumming pattern is going to be down, up, 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 down, up. There we go. All right, so the second verse and the second chorus, I believe, are the same, except the second verse is half as long as the first verse. Other than that, it's exactly the same. So then to go into the cool bridge from the chorus, you're going to do that thing at the end of the chorus where you go. Straight after that, you're going to hit a C add 9. Right? So you're going to do C add 9, then D, then E minor 7. So basically it's the opposite, it's the opposite direction as... Right? Instead it's... D, E minor 7. Then after you do that, you're gonna do the little ditty again. Right? So. Then again, C, D, E minor 7. fourth time you're gonna go back through the other direction again all right so let's go over that again you're gonna do the C D E minor 7 and a little ditty C D E minor 7 a little ditty the chorus. All right, we did it. All right, so at the very end of the third chorus, to end the song, he does this extended thing where he goes E minor 7, D, G a bunch of times, right? So it's I'm still here I'm still here I'm still here I'm still here So the whole time is just E minor, D, G until the very last one it's E minor 7 D C and then that's the end of the song thanks for watching guys I hope that helped you learn how to play the song if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments below I'll answer as quick as I can and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button see you in the next video